they're clogging our oceans, our lakes and our rivers. Plastic is absolutely everywhere. So we decided to take to the streets to see what the average person is doing to help reduce the plastic impact on our planet. Well, I have a garden and therefore I'm reducing the plastic waste when you're getting fresh produce from grocery stores. Uh, that's one way. Typically when you go to a coffee shop you bring your own reusable mug. Um, that's just a couple ways that I'm doing it. It came from Deep Cove and uh, I've worked there for three and a half years at a very busy restaurant this world known throughout the world and uh, when we had to reduce the plastic waste everybody just jumped on board and it, you know employees like everybody were so what we did is we started eliminating plastic bags <laughs> like kind of not offering them but and a lot of people when we asked you want a bag a lot of people were starting to say no nope. use uh, reusable water bottles all the time like the rubber made hard plastic that kind of thing yep uh, we actually have all recyclable uh, straws and and cups or uh, compostable so uh, to central just got a cone instead of getting a cup um, <laughs> because they only had plastic cups in the toy store for ice cream so that and, and you're bringing your water we bottle. got our water bottles and you know well all these good things um, you know we're Reusable bags for kids all the time when they're going to sports or different events. They're just a lot handier than the bags and throwing them out. Um, we came from Edmonton. They had a St. Albert Edmonton area before. They had a really pretty aggressive program with that in the past. So it's like, you know, you get them, but if I choose, I'll not get a book when I go buy something, you books or whatever. It's just, you don't need books, right? It's for, um, bags for a lot of that. So I was trying to. They, they're, they're, they're just facing it. Yeah. So. Well, there you go. Everybody's doing something. And if everyone does a little bit here and a little bit there, that equals a lot. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hatchew in Vernon.